So now we have gone to impact. So in impact, we have this uh, coefficient of restitution. So basically, the ratio of differences of velocity, um, the last velocity to the initial velocity. So in this problem, we have one kilogram ball A traveling horizontally at 20 meter per second when it strikes a 10 kilogram block B that is at rest. If the coefficient of restitution between A and B is 0 0.6, and the coefficient of kinetic friction between the plane and the block is mu k 0 0.4 determine the time for the block b to stop sliding as usual uh, when we receive this type of problem we start by uh, drawing okay what happened here so we have a ball 10 kilogram ball that is going to hit block B so once the ball hit the block B the block B will going to be having the same uh, direction as uh, ball A but once ball A hit bo ball B it doesn't stay together so we are having, having an impact and uh, the information that we have here for ball B is the weight so this is W equals to uh, 10 kilogram okay times 9.81 and then what are uh, the information that we have so since we have weight we have normal force so normal force is uh, normal force is similar to the weight so this is n equals to 10 times 9.81 and then uh, since we are moving to the right and we are given the coefficient of friction we can get the friction force okay acting against the movement so we have the friction force ff equals to 0 0.4 times the normal force so what we are going to have uh, 0 0.4 times 10 times 9.81 so finally we have the friction force equals to 39.24 newton okay but this is not finished yet we have not yet come to our analysis so um, now this is just collecting the data now we, we, we go for the analysis we first uh, go for the conservation of momentum so remember the conservation of momentum equation summation of the first state equals to summation of the second state so here we have uh, the movement of ball one okay the, the mass of the ball is one kilogram the velocity of the ball is 20 meter per second and then we have mass of the uh, box okay mass of the box uh, so we have this uh, 10 kilogram times zero so it doesn't move initially next we have um, one kilogram of the ball but we don't know what is the uh, the velocity of the ball later okay plus 10 kilogram of block times the velocity of the block we don't know yet here so once we collect all the terms we are going to have uh, an equation velocity of the ball after impact plus the velocity of the box of the impact equals to 20 the second equation that we have is the equation for the uh, coefficient of restitution. So E equals to uh, the VB2 minus uh, VA2 divided by VB, sorry, VA1 okay, minus VB1. So basically it's just a ratio and the ratio equals to 0 0.6 so 0 0.6 and then uh, we have this equation vb2 minus vpk so vb2 minus va2 divided by so the first the ball is 20 minus 0 
So when we collect the terms here using the coefficient, we are going to get VB2 minus VB1, uh, VA, okay, VA2 equals to 12. So now we have um, two equations, okay, so this is the first equation, the second equation, so we have two equations and two unknowns, so we can solve for both VB2 and VA2. So once we solve this, we are going to get um, VB2 equals to 2.9. VA2 equals to minus 9.09. So which means that um, after the impact, the balls go to the left and the box goes to the right. The next analysis is on the block B, okay? So we want to know uh, how long does it take for the block B uh, to stop due to the resistance. So this is done. Now we want to know the time. So we can use um, uh, the momentum equation. So going to the right is positive. mv1 plus sigma okay f dt equals to mv2 so now we know that uh, the 10 kilogram okay the 10 kilogram uh, box is uh, this is 10 times uh, the velocity of the box is 2.9 okay and then uh, we know that the box is going to be given for the x direction uh, only the friction force. So the friction force is going uh, against the direction of the movement. So we have 39.24 okay, equals to 0. So which means that the box is eventually going to stop. Okay, this is T. Okay. So when the box eventually stops, so we can get the T, which is equals to 0 0.741 seconds.